Hi there Excel enthusiast, welcome back to our channel where we will uncover the hidden gems of Microsoft Excel. Today we have something special in store for you. We are going to learn the to row function in Excel. Whether you are a data analyst, a business professional or just someone looking to enhance your spreadsheet skill, this is a feature you wouldn't want to skip. So grab your notepad and let's get ready to master the art of to row function in Excel. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. Before moving towards the practical example, let's first understand the syntax of the to row function. The syntax of the to row function is equal to row bracket start array comma ignore comma scan by column bracket close. Now let's jump into the practical example and learn its application. Now you can see that I have some data and I want to arrange this data in a row. For this purpose I'll write equal to row bracket start. The first argument is the array. So I have to select the all data. So after selecting the table I can close the bracket because the next two arguments are the optional argument. So I'll close this bracket and press enter. Now you can see that the data is arranged in a row but we have the empty cells which are written as zero and the errors are also included in this data. To remove the empty cells and errors I have to specify the second argument that is the ignore. So I will write comma and now I have to put some values to specify what I want to ignore. 0 is actually the default which is built in set which means that nothing to ignore. If I write 0 I will get the same result as I got earlier. If I write 1 then you can see that the empty cells are ignored but the error is still in this list. To remove this error I am going to specify another thing that is to write 2 over here. If I write 2 you can see that the error is removed but the empty cells is still in the list. To remove the empty cells as well as the error I will write 3 because if I write 3 it will ignore the empty cell as well as the errors. So after writing 3 I am just pressing this enter. Now you can see that the blank cells as well as error are ignored in this list. Now we are moving towards the third argument in this formula that is we want to scan it by column or by row. By default you can see that the data is set to scan by row. Like the data will be written as Moid, Rahman, Akash and Hamid. And if we want to scan it by column we have to write true over here. And then close this bracket. So now you can see that when I write true it is going to scan it by column. Moid, Hassan and Ali will come first after this Rahman and then Akash and Aslam. So with the third argument I can set its scan by row or scan by column. Once again thank you for tuning in our channel. If you want to learn more Excel check out our playlist we have created for you. It's right here on your screen. Remember the world of Excel is vast and ever evolving but together we will conquer it one formula at a time. Until next time happy spreadsheeting.